Keith, we're going to take a look from unemployed wizards to trick-or-treating broccoli. Because <laughs> we got what? the news that'll make you say boo on In Case You Missed It. <laughs> The city of Christchurch, New Zealand, voted to fire the town wizard after 23 years. Ian Brackenberry Chanel was paid $16,000 a year to provide wizardry and wizard-like services, whatever that is. I'm guessing mostly wizard-like services and to promote tourism. But the council decided that a wizard no longer fits with the modern image that they want to convey. Ian said, they're a bunch of latte-drinking bureaucrats with no imagination. <laughs> and then he turned them into toads. <laughs> well, he should come to work for the Biden White House, because they desperately need a wizard. And there are plenty of people there who could use brains, a heart, and some courage. So that's... There you go. He may have employment yet. Looking past Halloween, here's what every man is going to want for Christmas. Ever dream of being able to mow your lawn in under 10 seconds? Ooh. Well, Tony Edwards, a mechanical engineer from St. Martin's, England, can do it. He just set a new Guinness record by building the world's fastest riding lawnmower. It's got a Suzuki motorcycle engine. He got it up to just over 143 miles per hour. Wow. He says it can even go faster, but the front wheels leave the ground. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. That really can mess up your grass when that happens. Oh, yes, it does have lawnmower blades. That's one of the Guinness requirements. So don't give him road rage. He'll mow you down. Yeah. Uh, but he lives in the desert, so he didn't have any grass. Well, that's because it wasn't a desert until he started yeah, mowing it. There you go. It was a lush field, but now it's a desert because <laughs> he mowed it at 143 miles an hour. Wow. Incidentally, the world's slowest lawnmower is still a sheep, otherwise known as CNN viewers. <laughs> oh! Oh! Well, it's time again for the best reason to read the Huffington Post, their annual roundup of the year's weirdest Halloween costumes. No, I'm only kidding. It's the only reason to read the Huffington Post. Now, bear in mind that the poor costume manufacturers are in a really tough spot. Practically every costume these days offends somebody. I, you can't dress up like a cop, a cowboy, or an Indian. Or Trey Corley. Yeah, no. Can't even do that anymore. Hey, do you know what would happen if the village people debuted today, they all would be in business suits? I mean, mm -hmm. wouldn't they? Yeah. These people don't even know who the village people I are. Know, I... <laughs> I'm sorry, they don't look that young. <laughs> they just don't. Anyway, this year's costumes are mostly inanimate objects. A lot of them are foods for some reason. First up, we have the avocado costume. I'm mm. pretty sure one of my grandkids wore that for their food pyramid play. Here's one. I love this. I was with Paula Dean last week. She'd love this. The stick of butter. Butter? Yeah. <laughs> that might offend vegans, but then everything offends them. <laughs> now, this one is scary because you can threaten to kill people by raising their cholesterol. That's, that's why right. that's dangerous. Yeah. Right? This broccoli costume could offend you, Keith. Maybe if you rub the stick of butter costume all over it, that would help it some. I don't know. I love broccoli. So I, you know what? I do, too. Yeah. I, I really problem. do. There's some things I don't like. Broccoli, top of the list. Carrots, different story. Oh, you don't like carrots? I eat them every day. Next time I get some, I'll bring them to Thank you. Thank you. Now, there is one costume for us carnivores. You know how your aunts used to say, you're so cute, I could just eat you up. <laughs> Well, here's the kid they were talking about. A Lunchables costume. Oh, no. Oh. Here's the perfect costume for a kid who's going through the terrible twos. It's called Baby Hulk Hogan. <laughs> oh. So if you're going out to hunt for candy, what could be better than dressing up like a cockroach? How about that? Oh, yeah, okay, it's disgusting. But at least you're more popular than Congress. <laughs> If you would rather have people feed you quarters than candy, try the stuck inside a claw machine costume. I kind of like this one. Yeah. And finally, here's one that we made ourselves. It's called 
stuck telling in case you missed it stories. Mm, very true. What a horrible thought that, that is would horrifying. be. Well, thankfully, that's all we have. So before Dr. Fauci shows up and orders us to wear three Halloween masks, <laughs> I'm going to end it right here. But until next time, always remember, we read the news. So you don't have to. Absolutely. <laughs>